Hey everyone, this is Cat Wondering Soup, and I'm coming to you today with some more information. So that's what we do here at Wondering Soup. Give you a little bit of information and some insight into our life as well. But last year, in the middle of the Panera Bread, or toward the end of the Panera Bread, I published a blog post on our WonderingSoup.com site that basically gave the best destinations for people who were looking to expat and that they were LGBTQI and of color. You can take a look at it here. So again, that was the one that I issued, wrote out a few months ago, and I was sitting around and I was like, you know, things change. There was a huge movement to leave uh, America, which is of course where I'm from, um, for other countries for various reasons. And if you remember the election, you remember what some of those reasons may be. So uh, with that being said and things changing, I thought I would update the list. And not only this time write about it, but also do a quick video about it. Now I've changed some things, criteria for what goes on this list versus the list from next, last year uh, in the Panera Bread. But this year I wanted to keep it focused on really two things. And one was laws on the books. Are there LGBTQI laws of protection and rights on the books in the country? And I also wanted to look at how treatment of people of color past and present is going was going and what that would mean for you so with that being said let's get into it first up we're going to head down to south america and in south america if you are considering this region of the world you got to go to uruguay uruguay is the most one of the most liberal countries in that region of the world when it comes to lgbtqi rights and you shouldn't have any problems being out there. On the flip side, due to colonization and racism and just everything that the world does because that's what we do as humans, um, there may be some problems with you being of color. Now, will it be as bad as it say if you were a local and of color and dark of you? No. Being an American, being English, uh, being whatever country you're from, you won't have as many issues. Because let's be honest, if you're moving to one of these countries, you usually add an advantage, economically speaking, most of the time. Now, of course, it doesn't fit everyone, but most of the time, that's what you're looking for, right? With that being said, you won't have as many issues. Will there be some issues? Yes, possibly. There is no utopia. Check out the city that you want to look in, look at the neighborhood. Just be smart about whatever or wherever you want to live in that country. But your guy is on the list, definitely. Next up, if you're heading back up to North America, you got to go with Mexico. And I know you're probably like, why not Canada? But Mexico is good because, hey, I live in Mexico now, right? We've been here six months. We've had no issues. It's been a great experience. Uh, and there are laws on the books. This is a Catholic country, though. So there's always going to be an issue possibly. Uh, as far as being of color or black, there are Afro-Mexicans. Uh, generally, they are poor and disenfranchised because of history. But you, as an American or wherever country you're coming from, again, you're going to be a little bit different or better off than a local. And that's just being honest, right? So Mexico is definitely on the list. Make sure you do your research in regards to what states and what city that you live in, check out the neighborhoods, do a walk around, make sure that you will be and feel safe there. We are in Merida, no issues at all so far. This is not minimizing anybody else's experience strictly going by ours, right? So we've hit uh, South America, North America, let's head on over to Asia. And with Asia, I'm gonna have to go with Taiwan. It was on our list last year, is on our list this year simply because out of all the countries over there they have laws on the books. Thailand is a great place. Everybody loves Thailand. Everybody loves Vietnam. They feel safe there. Things are good but they don't have laws on the books. So I'm going with Taiwan. Um, and we live in Cambodia which does have laws on the books but I'm still leaning toward Taiwan. Now with that being said as a person of color Will you stand out more there? Yes. Let's be honest. Will there be issues? Possibly. 
I don't think they're going to be as bad as if you were in other countries, say, like America. There is Western influence over there, Western media influence, there's these biases that are there. But again, you should be okay. You being an American or whatever country you're from, it's just going to be a little bit different. Uh, you're going to be treated a little bit different. We had no issues in any of the countries that we visited over there, and I would definitely recommend Asia. Next up is Europe. There are a lot of countries to choose from here. And surprisingly, I went with Spain. And the reason why I went with Spain is because Spain has laws of protection that have been on the books since 2005. They're very progressive when it comes to LGBTQI rights. Um, there are people of color there. Um, you will feel comfortable there, I guess would be a good way of saying it. Now, there are issues with Spain's history. Let's not even remotely minimize any of those history issues and some present issues. So will there be uh, instances of possible racism, uh, xenophobia, uh, blackface? Possibly. Do your research. Look for pockets of people like you. And that's just being honest. Sometimes it's okay to be in an expat bubble. And this is maybe one of those times when you first get there, you may seek that bubble, and then you can, you know, spread your wings after a little while. But get comfortable first. Nothing wrong with being comfortable, people. Nothing wrong with it at all. And last but not least, as I wipe the sweat away, because it's, again, hot in Merida today, um, I'm going to have to go with, I was, you know, I went back and forth and went back and forth, and a lot of people want to move to Africa, right? Uh, big blacks that move it to Africa and unfortunately for LGBTQI there a lot of us can't go to the motherland not until safe and be out it's just not an option so I looked at countries where you can do it and South Africa does top the list uh, you go there there are laws on the books you will be protected in that regard there are going to be other issues that come into play. And then they surprise me. You're like, well, I'm black and I'm in Africa. I should be good to go. Yeah, sometimes that's just not the case. Uh, in Africa, South Africa is just one of those weird, um, you know, bubbles of a utopia that doesn't exist, right? Because uh, on paper, you should be perfect there. But South Africa has horrible history. Um, and they're going through turmoil right now as the people are trying to find themselves and take back control of their country, you as a black American or whatever country you're coming from are going to be an oddity. It's just that simple. Um, and I've, I've heard different things and going back and forth, I'm still going to keep it on the list. I really, really push that you do your research, figure out what neighborhood you're going to live in, what city, what state, what all that stuff like that when it comes to South Africa and you should be fine. Just do your research. That goes for every country though. Do your research. You don't have to visit it to move there first because we have done we haven't done that we just moved but we do a lot of research so that when we move there we're at least a few steps ahead of just going there blindly we've done neighborhood research we've done demographic research we've looked at uh, crime statistics we've read 50,000 articles saw 20,000 blog videos about moving abroad to whatever country that we're interested in I implore you to do the same but this is our list for 2021 of the countries that are the safest for LGBTQI people of color to move, relocate to, or even to visit. Because you don't have to always move. But these should be on your list and your radar. And this is not the sum total of life in the entire world, but these are just the five that we're recommending this year. I am Kat. This is Wonder Suit. We'll see you on the next video. Peace and love, y'all.